What's up everybody, my name is Tim Russwick and today I just wanted to share a quick and simple message with you. This is something that I've been wanting to share for a while and I feel like now the daily videos are back, now that we can kind of bite off these little tiny chunks of, of, of knowledge and information and opinion, I think now's the perfect time to share it. So I see a lot of people that are pretending and it reminds me of myself because I used to be a pretender. I used to pretend. I remember when I first started my first software and I was selling it on the internet, I, I put Sequoia Games on it. That was that was my that was my game company, right? I pretended that I was a game company. I didn't I didn't tell anybody I was just a solo dude on the internet trying to sell a piece of software that helped you make games. No, I was a company. I never incorporated, never did anything like that, but I pretended I was a company. When I would talk to people, when I would email people, I would say we right like i would just i would do that and i did that a couple times i was just I, talking to people in my early days of my marketing company it was just me for a long time and i used to say we because that would make people i don't know i thought it would make them think <laughs> we were bigger i was bigger than i was i thought that would make it make me make them treat me different uh and i realized that like pretending it damages you like it doesn't get you where you think it will get you and i mean not only is it technically lying right and lying's unethical and there's a whole argument against the ethicalness of of you know lying or or uh pretending things but for me personally like i've really kind of found solace in like this radical honesty concept uh, i've read books on it i've i've done research on it and I just feel like the more open and honest and authentic I am as a person with other people not only do they connect with me better but I feel like the relationships that I form with those people are more I don't want to say pure but like they are very uh valuable because I feel like I connect on a deeper level when I when I share things like depression on a YouTube channel to 25,000 people it's not exactly like a fun thing to do, right? Like I want to pretend that everything's okay. I want to pretend that I got all the answers for all the game dev stuff and I can just shit out knowledge for you every single day and then I don't have to do research and, and I can just knowledge bomb constantly, but that's not true. Like, and I feel like the more that I'm honest with this stuff, the more that I share about my depression, the more I share about um, not being a guru or not being an expert the more I share about like just stuff just being completely honest being completely upfront and completely real about my experiences about the things that I'm sharing about the things that I want other people to know about the message that I'm spreading I feel like there is an authenticity there that you can't get elsewhere and people tell me all the time Tim your community is amazing Tim I've never seen a community like yours I've never seen a community so supportive as yours and I take so much pride in that because I feel like that is built on the authenticity that I try and instill in my daily life uh, I share as much info as I can with you guys all the time like I have a running video series of my analytics and revenue like how many channels actually share all of their analytics all of the data all of the revenue they tell you their top performing videos which by the way have been copied by countless channels because I show hey this is my top performing video and it made me this much money and of course people are gonna copy that it's not a big deal to me the big deal to me is the authenticity it's it's putting that out there sharing that because I want people to see it I want to inspire other people to create channels I want to inspire more people to share their stories and share their information I think we live in an information economy and I think information is is super valuable and people undervalue their experience and it's just interesting to me that so many people choose to pretend they choose to be something that they're not when they completely undervalue who they are and what they are uh, there is value in a single solo developer making a video game. Uh, value in artisticness, value in marketing. Val there's, there's just, there's value in it by itself. You don't have to pretend to be a company. You don't have to pretend to be these uh, big important dude. You don't have to pretend you're, you're too busy to talk to people. You can just talk to them, right? You don't, you don't have to pretend. And uh, I wish that lesson would have been taught to me earlier. 
I wish someone would share that with me I uh, at a younger age. I, I certainly, if I can go back in time, that's one of the things I would tell myself. So, um, something I wanted to share. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let's start a discussion about it. Do you think pretending is a valid thing to happen? Do you think it has its place? Do you think it has its uses? Let me know down in the comments, and uh, I'll see you there. Once again, my name is Tim Russwick. See you tomorrow.